Hi and welcome to Game Creation and in this video today we're actually going to start the scrolling. Um, the setup stuff that we've done so far has been really really important to make sure that everything is ready to go. Um, if we didn't have the virtual width and the virtual height when you scroll you wouldn't see anything so really really critical we had that in and actually I think it's 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 about time now we see um, the game like in full screen so that we can get a idea of sizes roughly what we want to be working with um, so I changed a few things as well last video which I didn't anticipate which is always good um, to do as you go along when you spot stuff just write it down on the list and if you've got time which I did last video just correct it then and there um, and the frame size we moved or the grid size we moved to 32 uh, from 64 because it looked a bit um, too big in, in 64 uh, but we can always change that back. Now that's hooked in properly, uh, we can rely on that and just, just adjust it um, as we see fit. So let's go through to the screen. So uh, I've opened up the same project that we've been using so far. Um, and if I just run it now, you can see that the tile is now 32, not 64, although we can always change that back. But I can not go down to this screen we know is below here um, and we want to get to it. Um, so, this is actually really, really simple, and it's one line. And so, I'm going to insert a new group of events called scrolling. And actually, it's, it's a bit of a waste of creating this uh, whole group of events for scrolling when um, there's only one thing going to be in it at the moment. But I might be adding stuff if I always do add stuff to it. So all I'm just going to say is always. Always is really good condition because it just means it will always happen. Um, and be careful using always because if you say always create an enemy um, then your game will crash because there will just be so many enemies. Um, although you're only allowed, I think it's uh, 3,000 odd enemies. You can see it in the settings somewhere. This is when I go searching through. <laughs> it says somewhere here how many you're allowed. And you can up it. Uh, I can never find these things. Is it, is it done per frame? Maybe it's done per frame. Uh, include number of objects you're allowed is a thousand. There we are. So you're allowed a thousand objects in this frame, and you can you can up that. I can increase that, um, but it just means that your your game's less likely to crash because if if it hits a thousand then it goes, right, I'm not, not creating any more because that's just going to put too much strain on the computer. Uh, I thought it used to be a lot more than that. It used to be a lot more. Anyway, um, so we're saying always, and it's this one here, storyboard controls, and we just go to scrolling, and we say center the window position in frame. So basically, focus the window on, now, what are we focusing the window on? Well, we always want to focus it on the player. Click OK. So it's always focused on the player. So if I run it now, moment of truth. And if I go down, beautiful scrolling. Now, the problem is that because we haven't actually written any of the, of the other bit that we're doing in today's video, um, we can't actually tell whether we're scrolling. I'm actually holding right now but you wouldn't know because, well you, you can because you can see that I'm moving across here but apart from that it's very difficult to tell. So let's sort out the tiles as well. Um, so how many tiles did we do? We did 15 and 15. Um, which isn't, isn't uh, this I was just a kind of guess. So we're looking at the rows, so that's um, how, like what position downwards so the rows are going downwards and instead of 15 what I'm going to do is something really clever here in fact let's let's go back let's not do that yet and I'll do the clever bit afterwards if we go back and we have a look at our virtual height it's 212 so if we get my calculator out and I write 200 sorry 2112 and I type that in divided by 32 because we our new tile size is 32 so it's 66 and if I go back into here I know that 
it will fit 66. So if I run it now, run application, wow. If I go down, perfect. But this isn't very future friendly because what happens if I change my mind again and change these grid tiles to a different size? So what I want to do is just do that calculation I just did on my calculator. Yeah, I use a calculator, doesn't matter. I did 2,112. Now what was 2,112? What well, was the virtual height? So if I click on that frame and virtual height, then what did I do? I divided it by 32, which was what we decided to be the size of the tiles. Grid size, done. If I copy that, because we might use that. Going to the other one, and these are the columns. If I paste that in, but it's not the virtual height we want anymore, it's the virtual width. There we are, and the grid size is the same because it's a square. So if it's 16 across, it'll be 16 down. If it's 16 down, it'll be 16 across. Click OK. Run. And nothing happens. Ha ha, you might say. Ha ha. Have I mentioned something that I might need? Yes, I have. Because as we know from earlier, we've got a limit on the amount of objects. So let's have a look. Um, that was 66. That will give 66. And what's that going to give? Well, let's have a look. Uh, so, so that's 66. I've got to remember 66. And that's going to be 120. So if it's 120 tiles going across and 66 going down, if I times them together, I get 7,920 which is above our limit for the frame. Now, I don't mind actually us having, I don't know, 10,000. That's fine by me. Um, we're, using, uh, we're using active objects as tiles. It's probably not the best thing. We might address that later on. There we are. It's perfect. So if that ever happens to you, it's because you have hit that 1,000 per frame limit that ClickTeam puts on it. Um, these actives aren't doing anything, so I'm not worried about it. The click team is worried that you've got like some elaborate um, enemy object that's doing some kind of movement across screen and collision detection and all those lovely things. Uh, we don't have anything. It's just literally a square tile, so the system can cope with, with it. And look at that. That is pretty amazing. Actually, okay, it's a pretty basic, but don't forget the whole point of this is to see whether it does work, uh, not to make it look pretty. We can make it look pretty down the line. And actually, it does make me feel that maybe uh, maybe I shouldn't have made the uh, <laughs> the background tile actives anyway, because um, actives are, uh, they've, they've got a lot more stuff about them. They've got a lot more... Um, things overhead that click team has uh, and there's better objects to use for these but I like active objects you can use them for anything uh, and modern computers these days it's fine it's fine <laughs> yeah I feel in a future video we'll be converting those to something else but the way we've coded it it's actually very very easy to do um, because we've not sat there if you imagine sitting there like um, copy and pasting each of these into place and making them perfect and then running your game and realizing that the computer can't accept these as actives and you've made a mistake and you should have used a background object instead with ours it, we literally just change a few lines of code and it's all sorted um, and you know and that's the point is that not to spend ages and ages doing something is to spend a little bit of time getting the code right to do it for you and then when you want to make changes or need to make changes down the line, it's not that much to do. Um, if you've got any comments on the stuff we've said today, it's quite a big video. Um, when I was planning out, I was worried that we wouldn't have too much to do in this video, but there was loads and loads of little bits that we've picked up, which have been really, really good. Um, if you've got any comments, though, please write them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.